Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we wandered around Agata Forest and uh, basically did side questy things. We got a bunch of collectibles and we got some new items as well. This episode, we're going to be finishing up the last few side quests and collectible gathering things this episode before heading into Suta Ruins and he went underground, okay. I decided that it'd be a good way to start an episode by starting out with a battle because battle is fun, kids. So let's go ahead and hit him without actually having to need to get a counter, except we will. Ooh, there we go, okay. And this is going to kill him. Hopefully it won't overkill him. It doesn't, and he's dead. There we go. End of battle. And we get monies, because we need monies this episode. And we have 1,800. Very good. We have... Wow, we actually don't have that much money at all. That's very sad, because we need money. And 15 praise from that, and presumably some animals that I need to feed, because apparently this... Yep, this world's going through starvation. Okay, let me cut this out. And there we go, three praise. Now, we have 199, almost 200, so you might be wondering why I am not upgrading my stuff, and that is just because... Uh, Susanna's already told us, basically, wait, what? Why'd he drop food? I don't know, but basically what I'm doing is I'm holding off on upgrading my equipment so I can upgrade my Astro Pouch to get another one. What did he just say? You pesky mutt. I already told you. I'm trying to defeat the Crimson something or other and talk a pass. Okay, I'll give you some food. Now be off with you. Oh, that's why. Okay, so you can get infinite food here? That's neat. Okay, for those of you who are playing along and have more praise than me, because you're better at this game, uh, you can get infinite food from him, okay. So, where we want to go for this episode is nighttime. No, where we want to go is up to the very entrance of Ogta Forest. I was going to start the episode out there, but I decided against it just because, you know, I had to deal with that demon gate sometime or other, so I dealt with it then. Now, apparently we missed this... Bud, so we're going to grab this along the way. Has a Traveler's Charm. Okay, cool. I, I don't know how much you can sell those for. They, it might be more worthwhile to sell them. I don't know. Huh. I might have to check into that. But anyway, uh, the, where we have to go is to the top of here because we'll see Sleepy the Bear. Awesome. Love Sleepy the Bear. Hmm? Isn't that this that bear that was sleeping back in Hana Valley? Man, he's still sleeping? Let's call him Sleepy. Oh, I jumped I jumped the gun there. You can tell he's important because he's newly dubbed Sleepy. That's one happy bear. Seems like he really likes spheres. Okay. <laughs> That's one happy bear. Seems like he likes spheres, okay? So, I said the exact same things. So, where we want to go right now is to find him some spheres. Yeah, he, he likes orbs. He's like a Crystal Ball Witch Wizard Bear. <laughs> That'd be a funny screen name, Wizard Bear, but what we need to do, like I said, is find him spheres. And we saw one last episode, I'm not sure. Ah, there it is. I believe there are like three that we have to grab for him, so this is the first one. I think I'm just going to be showing the location of these and then cutting out the, the ball rolling physics from then on because, yeah, this is frustrating for me and probably for you to watch. Also, you guys don't want this to happen. You guys want the the meat, meat and greet. No, the m meat and bones of the episode, which is what is up here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just what is what is this? Where does this go? Seriously, where? Uh, sidetrack. I'm. I apologize, but this is strange. What is this place? Okay, there's a clover over here. Can we even get it? No, we cannot, because it's in rock. Okay, what is this place? I, I am I apologize for for sidetracking, but what in the wild world of confetti is this? We have a curse zone. Okay, I didn't know this was up here. I knew it was in um the sequel to this game, Okami Den, but I didn't know that this existed. Okay, we have that. So I want to bloom that, but is that really all that's in here? What is what is this, sir? I like how I'm calling a blue. Ooh! Incense burner! Burner sp uh, specially designed to release only the purest aroma. Okay. 
Okay. Sounds like you live in, uh, Was Washington. Love that smoke, yo. Uh, okay. That's... I had no idea this was up here. Uh, let me go and cut out me feeding these deers. Never mind, I can't feed them because I don't have the feed bags for it. Goody. Wonderful. I should restock on them. Okay, well, this area doesn't do anything yet, apparently. And it's daytime. Real quick, let me... What does this say? He Hitoshio Spring? Wow, this water's crystal clear. A rather pretentious name, but probably not far, far off the mark. Huh. Okay, whatever. I have no idea what this serves, what purpose this serves. What serves this purpose uh, to the Shinsu... Wait, what? Okay, we're gonna go that go through that later. That says to Shinshu Field, but if you remember, we have... Of course you remember. I'm the one who has problems remembering. Uh, if you remember, we have a side quest to do. So let me go ahead and roll this ball up there, and then I'm gonna cut out continued ball rolling. Is that ball back where it started? It isn't, isn't it? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where'd it go? Oh, it's down there. Ah. <sighs> This is what happens when you don't lock the the, the ball. Someone steals it. <laughs> you need to lock the spheres. Okay, get up. Get up. Get up. There we go. Okay, uh, let's go and push this over here. And this way, there's another sphere right there, so we need to remember that. Uh, let me go and hit that, hit it. I wish I had something that would, like, push them really far or, like, carry it. But, yeah, oh, come on, get up. Up. Get up. Please. Uh, this is frustrating. Probably for you guys to watch, too, because you guys are probably saying, like, do it this way, but, uh Get up, ball. 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 Get up. Please. No! No! Okay. Okay, that was close. That was close. Just get it up. No. 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 It's not, not happening. Not ha no 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 <sighs> okay new strategy just roll it against the wall nothing will go wrong no 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 Actually, everything could go wrong, and probably will. Just go up here. Oh, yeah. This is it. Only, like, 80 more feet. 80 more feet on me. You can do it. Just push it. Don't have... There don't have to be any whammies. Just push it. Yes! First ball of... I have no idea how many. There we go. Nice. Finally. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you went to back to sleep? Boy, I sure wish I could sleep like that. And 10 praise. That's what you get for this. You get a lot of praise every time. So there's that ball. Uh, you guys know where the other ball is? It's down here. There's one more besides this artichoke heart ball. I'm 90% sure there is. So I'll cut back when this one's up to the top. And this one. Oh, the ball. Oh, I'm going to go back to sleep. Finally! Oh, you gotta be kidding me, he went back to sleep. So he says every, he says the same thing every time. And we get 10 praise. But I believe for the last ball, you get like a ton of praise from it, not just 10. So let me go find that. And then we'll be in business and we can go to the Suda Ruins, I believe. I think it might be in one of these trees. Maybe. Maybe? No? No? Okay. Uh, I, I guess I'm just crazy. Uh, could it be over here? We have to search everywhere, and we can't just say, we can't just, like, look way over there and say, oh, it's not there. Because the draw distance of Okami is really wacky sometimes, so it may not actually, like, load until you're right up on top of it. So you pretty much have to run everywhere to find it. And hopefully I don't have to run everywhere. I just get, like, really fortunate and just bump into it. Commentators, curse, please work for me. Like, help, please. No? No? Okay. Whatever. 
I guess I'll just have to look for it myself. Which I'm okay with. It's not in here because we've been in here before. I don't know why I ran through that through that wall. Let's go this way. Uh, I didn't see it when I went... Wait, did I just see it? I think I just saw it. I think I just saw it in the tree. I think I just saw it in the tree, guys. Please tell me I said I saw it in the tree. It was over here. I'm going to run this way just in case, but I think I saw it in the tree. I believe it's like a bee's nest, and you have to give it to him by power slashing it out of a tree. I think I saw it in the end of, in the end of day sequence. Also, it might just be me, but and the days seem faster here. Yeah, there it is. There it is. You guys see it? You guys see it? Oh, yes. Oh, what is that up there? It's sparkly. Seriously, what is that thing up there? I want it. It's it sparkles. What is that thing? Like, okay, you see the bee's nest, right? But there's a thing up there that's sparkly, and it looks like a stray bead. But is it a stray bead? I don't know. Well, we can't get it yet, but I want to see. I'm 90% sure. Of course, I say that an awful lot that you can just power slash this. Please say yes. No. Oh, come on. Don't fail me now. I know you can do this. I know it. I know you can. Yeah, and it is straight beat up there. We just can't get it yet. Powers... Okay, come on, game. Throw me bones. I say that a lot in the LP, but... Throw me bones. Holy bones. Holy bone L's. I don't care. Just... Power slash. Uh... No. Okay, I know it, it works. I'm not crazy. I know it works. That was horrible. There we go, yes! There we go, okay. Very nice, here's the last orb. Oh yeah, this is, okay, the, cool, okay. I actually didn't look at a guide for this, and I was thinking about it, but I didn't. So, go me. Also, I'm gonna go through this beach, because I think that's easier. So let's just bring it this way. Very cool. Very nice, I, I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's go this way. And this ball rolling is actually working out for me. Uh, let's go up the stairs. Tip for going up the stairs. Just shoulder bash it, and it will work for you. Or you'll go through it, and it will fall down. Okay, that works too. Actually, it doesn't work, because that's not what we want. If we're in, like, a Olympics for ball rolling uh, downstairs, I guess we'd win. But we're not, so you don't want that. Okay, from here, I'm actually showing this for no reason. I just, I, I don't like cutting, I guess. So I'm just... Actually, I actually love cutting. I, I love doing it, because it's fun. Uh, but for this kind of thing, I'm not cutting. Because I got don't got time for that. Okay, uh, push up here? No. No, 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 no. And you guys can really see how bad the ball rolling is here. Also, this episode seems like ran like a little bit strange, just because it's like, oh, we're doing Okami, and randomly ball rolling? No. This way. This way. I realize that it's like 18 minutes of just ball rolling. Hopefully that's not true. Hopefully the cuts have been enough. Also, I'm not even making progress. I'm not even making progress. I should probably cut because I have not gained ground in several seconds. I'm just fighting the physics of this game. Come on, game. Just do this. Come on. Why did the designers have to make this so hard? There we go. Okay, finally. No. This ball seems harder to push. It really does. Like, I am not making this up. It does seem both harder and easier. It seems easier because, like, it's easier to roll, but it all- it may- Ooh, no, 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 no. It may- it- because it's easier to roll, it, it's easier for it to roll down as well. So this ball seems hard. Like, it's hard. It's very annoying. Okay, there we go. Yes, finally the last one. And let's how, see how he reacts to the bee's nest. Hmm, did he finally open his eyes? Guess he really likes this fear. 20 praise, so we got, to got in total 40 praise, and he doesn't even care that it's a bee's nest. Hey, that's animal abuse! I didn't know that that line was there. I, uh, still, I just can't tell what kind of sphere he likes the best. Maybe the one where the bees are attacking him. Okay, well, Sleepy is done. Let's, may he rest in peace. So, before we go into Suta Ruins, finally, 
I'm going to be doing something. First, I want to buy some feed bags because there was a thing that I wasn't. There was a couple animals that I was not able to feed. After that, we're going to Shinshu Field. We're not going here for very long. In fact, I'm going to cut there after I do the thing. Well, after I buy these, but we're going to uh, grab an advanced technique before we go into the Suta ruins from um, uh, Onigiri Sensei. And I have 91 yen, which makes me want to sell stuff. Which I think I have enough. Just mash A, and please tell me I have enough. Okay, you can sell the fish. I never told you that, but you can sell the fish. And you really don't want to keep them. So, let me go and sell these, and I should have enough. Okay, I probably have enough to get what I want. And that is in Shinshu Field, so let's run up here, because we went up here earlier. And now we'll, let's go through that cave that I saw, because that was interesting, and I didn't even know that existed. So, let's go through here, and uh, go to Shinshu Field. Running through here. I have no idea when the map transition's going to take over. Oh, I see it, okay. This is a very long tunnel. It's also very yellow and orange. And there we go. Here we are. And... Why did, weren't we able to go through this before? I have no idea. Oh, that's why, because we're on a cliff. Okay. Well, I can't get that clover, so... Oh, and also, uh, distractions. I'm going to go, while we're here, I might as well cherry bomb this. I have no idea what it is. Let's go and jump down. Oh, it's a thing. With a treasure! Very good. Okay, that's nice. Uh, so now, I'm going to go and cut to Onigiri Sensei, and I'm actually going to speed up the process of learning the technique, because we've spent far too much time lollygagging around. I want to go into Suda Ruins more than you guys do. Yes, more. So, I'll cut in there and speed it up. You're right there. Alright, so you come again, my little loopline friend. And, okay, we have a new technique. Uh, there's Golden Fury, but that is 100,000 yen. But what we want to get right now is Rosary Technique Spirit Storm. It increases the hit ratio of attack for rosaries, which is nice, because I, that's been a complaint of mine. They don't hit as much as they sh as much as they do when you have this technique. So let's go ahead and buy this for 7,000 yen. So you've once again choose to try your hand of the fighting arts. I suppose I have no choice. I'll do as you wish and allow you to enroll in my dojo. Ah. Uh, but I must warn you, I won't hold back this time. Ah. Uh-oh. And let's go ahead and skip this, because... We have a short time schedule, so let's go and learn this technique, and then I will cut back to Pseudo Ruins once we learn it. Let the lesson begin. We'll practice the Spirit Storm Rosary Technique. Take these tips to heart and remember them as we train. Spirit Storm Rosary Technique tri Tips. First, swing the Wiimote to begin the attack. Swing the Wiimote rapid rapidly in succession. Time it well. Repeat until you connect six consecutive rosary hits. The more you swing the Wiimote, the more powerful the hits become. Attack quickly and with beauty. Attack fiercely and with fury. Give it all you got and send the evil ones packing. Well, do you understand? Yes, I do. Very well, then I'll grant you the thing, the, the, the burger. <laughs> and yes, he'll summon the thing again, and let's go ahead and show off this new technique. Let's go ahead and hit stuff, and you can see that, wow, that hits like every time. Every single hit does about, uh, about eight, I think, or seven. That's really nice. And we don't have to keep it up, but I'll do it once more. So I just wanted to grab this before we head into Suta Ruins, because that is like the first mainstream dungeon of the game that I that I consider. So I would like to pick this up so we can fight stuff better. Okay, so let's let's leave. Okay, bye! And I'm going to cut to Suta Ruins, or actually, rather, I'm going to be cutting to Kokari, because he has the key to get into Suta Ruins. So as soon as I go through here, we will be, in, we will, we will be with Kokari. Okay, off screen... I went ahead and fed those deer near Hitoshio Spring that I didn't have the feed bags to feed earlier, so I got 12 praise from that, so I'm up to 261. We're almost ready to upgrade our Astro Pouch, which is nice. Hey, what's the big deal? That's not a toy. Well, at least I have the key now. I better go rescue Ume. To the ruins, which you've said for an episode. It's time for you to uh, be taken off your high horse, I guess. Let me go and grab... Now that I have the key... We can go to Suta Ruins and go ahead and head on in to the first dungeon of the game. Let us carry on. Finally, after a couple episodes, we are ready. Because there's nothing uh, less le there's nothing left for us here. Here it is. Here's the key. Let's go. Those are very thick doors. Wow, they're like five feet thick and solid stone. That's amazing. Well, let's go look for that kid's dog. I'm actually hoping we might find something more. Nobody's entered these ruins for ages, right? Just think about it. 
There could be a fabulous treasure hoard, treasure hoard hidden in here. <laughs> but enough talk. Let's start looking. Let's do that. Welcome to the first dungeon of the game. Suta Ruins. Isn't it beautiful? All that purple water. It's probably poisonous, but it's gorgeous. I mean, even when something's bad, it's beautiful. That's that's the amazing part of this game. Evil is beautiful. Remember that, children, as you go through life. That's a pretty that's a pretty oddly shaped statue. Look at all that moss. It must have been here for ages. And what's up with that weird water? I don't think you want to go jumping in there, Furball. How about drawing some lily pads so we can check it out? Ah! Stars above, Batman! <laughs> Bloom. <laughs> my my Batman jokes does don't work. Okay, uh neither does my brush. We have some we have a traveler's charm, we have a scroll, enhancing div divinity, talking about upgrading stuff probably. Uh nothing much a mirror, which I need to take note of. And there's something blocking the path right here, which I will punch and it will wiggle. That's one solid wall. Even that hard head of yours won't work. Huh? Did this wall just move? Nah. Impossible. Let's keep going. Okay, that's strange. I guess we'll find that out later. Uh, we have another bud here, and I'm surprised that registered. And it has an extra... Ooh, that'll be useful. Especially here. I won't t say why, but it is. This whole area reminds me a little bit of Wind Waker. Just those swirlies on the floor, and I guess that's it. Whenever I see swirlies, I just think of Wind Waker. Oh, you! Okay, uh, I didn't expect to see you here again. First time I've gotten hit by them. Come on, throw throw your fruit at me. Let me bloom you. There we go. You're, you've been devanquished. De de <laughs> devanquished. Oh, I made a new word. Steel soul sock, eh? That's nice, okay. We're mostly just exploring around. Uh, we have this thing. Which is a treasure, a Voss. A Voss. Which is nice. Uh, we have the store. Let's go through the store. No load. No game load. That's really nice. I love that about this game. That it loads a lot of stuff in one go. Uh, can you hit me? This one's going to be a little bit hard because... There we go. This one was actually surprisingly easy. Okay. Uh, bloom you. There we go. And get that clover. Because this area apparently has a lot of praise in it. So... We want to take advantage of that praise. There we go. We are almost ready to upgrade our Astro Pouch. I am excited about that. Okay, now you really want to keep your eyes open for secrets. Like, they can... They will just throw little tiny things in these rooms and expect you to not find them, because that's how the designers are. A lot of games, they just do bare-bones stuff, but this game actually fleshes it out. Okay, let's make sure there's nothing in here, because this game... Lo ah, there's a ledge, which we can't get to. Never mind. So there's a door. That's it for this room. So much for fleshing things out. Uh, no map transition. Now, this room, we want to remember it. Look at the map. Remember it. This room is important later, so you want to make sure you keep this room in mind. At least I think it's this room. If it's not, then forget what I said. Another incense burner. Very nice. Let me jump up here, and we want to turn around. This is what I was talking about with them hiding stuff. You need to do a 180 spin and fall back down. No. You want to do a 180 spin and climb about on these ledges, or... I almost fell again. Uh, lodges. Okay. Jump. There we go. Uh, dash, dash. There we go. And there's something at the end of this room. I just know it. There it is. Okay, Clover. This probably has a lot of praise in it, because this is the only reward for backtracking, so... We want to look at this reward, which is a failed brush technique. I'm trying to rush. That's what I'm doing. Five. Okay, that was kind of lame. But whatever. 280. That's nothing to shake a stick at. I don't know why you shake a, sh a stick at a number, but I don't know. Your, your guys' life. Okay, let's go ahead and jump through here, and let's see what this room has in store. Okay, a ledge over there, which I don't think we can... No, we can. With lily pad, we can get there. But first, I just want to check things out. No buried stuff. Nothing. Okay, I'm just checking. 
We're good. Okay, so we could just go through here. Very nice. This area is really gorgeous. Also, that looks like an eye. Like bug eyes. That's freaky. Uh, this room is really gorgeous. Like, look at all this green. It just... It's beautiful. No secrets up there. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump up here. And let's see what this next room has in store. We're really... Oh, no. Wait. Before I do this, let me bloom this. Uh... Steal this sake. Okay. Now, actually, now that I think of it, this, this ball rolling physic isn't that bad. Never mind. What, what's up with this? What's up with this round stone? It's much heavier than it looks. It doesn't look like it'll budge, no matter how hard you push or pull it. Never mind. It, I thought you had to push this by headbutting it, but apparently not. But what is that? Can we... No. What is this? Ah! We have a new enemy! This is the Bud Ogre. Dun dun dun. The Bud Ogre, you want to immediately uh, just hit, you want to attack it, but you'll see that you'll do barely any damage at all. So what I believe you have to do... Let me spin the camera around, spin the camera around. What you want to do, whoa, is power slash this back, I believe. There we go, there we go, okay. Now what you want to do is, while it has that symbol, you want to use your celestial brush by using bloom by doing that you'll open it up and be able to attack it and it's actually really weak in that when that happens so you want to deflect its projectile and then its floral finisher I believe is bloom it is amazing I got that from memory so there we go why did I get bad on time I did I did fantastic there. Also, the ball's restored, which is pretty. But I did fantastic on time right there. I have no idea what the game is is pen penalizing me for. Huh. Okay, well, let me go ahead and roll this ball to the end, and then I'll, we will call it an episode. Since we've done a fairly good amount, I just wanted to uh, to have some substantial amount of stuff, hap Ooh, stuff happen in this area. So you guys didn't feel cheated. Okay. This ball rolling physic wasn't bad. Push it in there, and done. Open the door. Now, all these statues, all these figurines, I want to power slash, since actually one of them looks like Makar from uh, Wind Waker, but you want to power slash them all. Uh, come on. I'm trying to power slash them. Power slash the statues. There we go. And we'll get a ton of stuff from that, so that's nice. So, yeah. That's going to be it for this episode. Okay, I'm going through here. I have no idea why I did that. And this room is large. Let me leave. <laughs> the large rooms scare me because they could have bigger enemies in them. Okay, so that's going to be it for this episode as I backtrack. Uh, I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Next episode, we're going to be going into that big room to see what it contains and continue in the first dungeon of the game, Suta Ruins. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.